dressed in their ceremonial robes. The justices of the Supreme Court and the judges of the High Court were the first to make an entrance at the High Court. The opening of the lawyer 2013 also attracted representatives from the executive and legislature. On arrival, the Chief Justice Benjamin Odoki inspected the police guard of honor with the assistance of the Deputy Inspector General of Police. The guests were also entertained to a cultural performance before the presidents of the Uganda Judicial Officers Association and the Law Society respectively took to the podium to raise concerns over corruption in the judiciary. You ask for money and you call it fees, you call it facilitation in the names of these judges, the judicial officers. These were stories which were told. Colleagues and members of the fraternity, we cannot, and I will not use the word, we cannot spoil our swimming pool. The Attorney General Peter Nyombi says that this will be addressed after government's plan to strengthen the law council to deal with rogue lawyers is effected. He also promised to table the judiciary administrative bill. Failure to pass the judiciary administrative bill, we have had a series of discussions of this issue. And I'm confident that we, have, we shall come to a solution. The Chief Justice also noted that inadequate funding and a limited budget has affected the work of the judiciary in disposing of cases and asked that the sector be allocated at least 3% of the national budget share. Can you please record that the Chief Justice has asked for 3% of the budget? And he has been supported <laughs> by something to his president. <laughs> so can you pursue that one? Can you pursue that one? The reopening of the courts of judicature this year has come at a time when the judiciary is trying to figure out a way of solving a number of challenges ranging from corruption, poor service delivery and case backlog. However, the Chief Justice has urged Parliament to highly consider the pending Judiciary Administrative Bill to help strengthen the judiciary. Suhail Mugabe, NTV.